For the Home Depot fire, it was a struggle to put out another fire in Benicia late this afternoon. Dozens of firefighters will be working all weekend long dousing those flames. They engulfed a wooden pier near the port of Benicia. Now that's about 40 miles northeast of San Francisco. The fire broke out more than 11 hours ago. KPIX 5's Dal Lin is live near the port on how the fire could actually disrupt businesses, including a new car pipeline for local dealerships. Da. Yeah, that's right. That's because a lot of new Toyotas are shipped from Japan to this dock in Benicia. The question now is how will this fire affect dealerships, local dealerships waiting for their new cars? Now, firefighters are gaining ground on this four alarm fire because the flames are burning less intense this evening. City officials believe this fire will be active at least until tomorrow. Benicia firefighters say the fire broke out just after 12 p.m. Port workers saw flames burning the conveyor belt that was transporting petroleum coke onto a ship. Valera uses the dock to ship out the petroleum product. Workers say it looks like black dust. We saw this floating in the water. The San Francisco Baykeeper shared drone footage of black streaks also floating near the fire. Benicia City officials say the Coast Guard and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife are monitoring the environmental impact. The fire also engulfed a wooden dock that's adjacent to the conveyor belt. Over that dock is concrete, and so what is burning is the wooden structure underneath the concrete, and so that's making it very difficult for firefighters to defeat this fire. Workers moved a few ships that were docked at the port. Firefighters say they're relying mostly on the fireboats to fight the stubborn fire. Big flames and black smoke billowed into the sky. Neighbors say fortunately the winds pushed the smoke away from Benicia and away from this wedding happening right above the fire. <laughs> The bride and groom say they weren't expecting this kind of fireworks on their big day. Thankful that God is blowing it the other way. Yeah. But we're getting a lot of coverage of the fire. I think we're kind of ignoring the helicopters and all the other abstractions. Right. Thank the Lord, we're good to go. They're married, and we're getting the party now and have a good time. Firefighters say parts of the wooden dock are destroyed. Aside from Valero, Amports also uses the dock to ship mostly Toyotas and some Subarus to this region. Many car dealerships already face a shortage of new cars. Amports general manager said no comment when I asked if this will worsen the problem. It's certainly going to be an economic impact to Amports and Valero. Despite the potential economic fallout, city officials say there are no no injuries and health concerns for Benicia residents. It's unclear what sparked that fire. Firefighters say their main focus right now to put out the flames, which will then allow investigators to go in and dig deeper to look for clues and what caused this fire. Live in Benicia, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.